guys, what's going on? It's me, it's over with Lee. Today is January 27, 2014. For all you Teen Wolf fans, we have news exclusively from E! News. Teen Wolf, Tyler Hulk chilling on Derek's new mid-set, Big Brother, status and lack of romance in season 3. 3B. Expect some answers on Teen Wolf anytime soon. Hot no, what, what show do you think you're watching? E! News talk exclusively with star Tyler Hoshin and he basically had one major thing to say. It's a lot of questions. Yes, that's a pretty good summation of the show. In general, like remember that time Styles used his imagination to make more mountain ash? What's why? But Hoshin was talking more specifically about Derek Smith's set after losing his pack and alpha status. What is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? And what is the role in my life? I think she that's really the most important thing Hochin reviewed. When we last saw Derek on the MTV hit, he had just returned from a fingernail field chat with his mother, Wolf, at the Neptune. A great name for a new team, Wolf themed water and hall, by the way. And it did not look like she had anything particularly good to. Say, Hoshin said he won't get all the answers right away, but he did tease a few of the juicy things he and Mama Hale might have talked about, particularly regarding one dead English teacher. I'm sure she wasn't very approving of this, his choice, she said, referring to his doomed romance with the gruesome Darach. Hopefully that talk gave him a little bit direction, and hopefully will kind of mo motet motive him and what he does for the rest of the season. As far as any future romance are concerned, Hoshin is pretty sure Derek sh should be taking a break. We'll have to see if the writers agree, but I think Derek has one other thing on his mind right now. However, if Derek Kerr has a dating profile, it's pretty safe to assume he would attempt to filter out any other psycho psychotic, supernatural human sacrifices. Sacrifices. Someone who's never killed people would be a great start. He joked. If any romance went were to come along, Hoshin hopes it's love of the fairy tale rarity. I think it's going to have to be something that just comes along and just smacks you in the face and you're like, oh wow, this is it. This is what it's supposed to be. I think until what hap that happens, it's going to be very interesting to see what motives, what motivates him to even be on moving forward in that area. In terms of Derek's search for action, I'm going to elaborate a bit on Tyler Posey's tease that Derek would become sort of another brother to Scott. In seasons two and three, with Derek being the alpha, I think he really thought that he was calling and thought he was supposed to be the leader of the pack. He explained, now it really is Derek acknowledging that Scott is that alpha, is that alpha, that he never could be. And I think Derek still has the wisdom. As far as being a vampire werewolf goes, which is something that he could teach Scott, together they're always stronger. But they definitely see it more as the role of an older brother, or an alley, as opposed to someone who's a comp codependent as they as once were. God, this article is so long. Almost done. Hochin also said that he really relate, relates Derek's struggle to his own life. Revealing, I spent my whole life growing up and playing baseball, and that was my first love and my first passion. And once that was over, you go through a period of adjustment of, well, what do I do now? It's a really weird space to be in. A weird space is certainly one way to describe losing your pack. Losing your pack, where I go? An alpha will status after discovering that your girlfriend was a mass murderer and then having to hide your sister, who is now the queen of Scotland. PSA, go watch Rain, you guys. But that's pretty much every day of on Teen Wolf. And Hochin isn't often surprised, but what he finds in the scripts, you definitely get used to it in a, in a weird way. But it's all kind of a nice part of feeling yourself fall into these characters and see what it's like to get live in the world. Sorry.
time, guys. To give him a world. In my world a little bit, but seeing some crazy monster beasts is not out of the normal norm. It's like, oh, well, we did aqu aqu awaken this thing, so that's probably going to be happening a lot now. I was hoping did almost tease a couple of upcoming scenes that did manage to completely shock him. Shock him. If I told you, I would be fired immediately, he said. There are some very, very surprising, shocking things coming up this season that, and it's such a cliche, but that I really don't think anyone will be seeing coming. It could be that one of those scenes is coming, even coming up in tonight's episode. If we're to read anything into Holshin's one word description of the black light, centric out in blindside, he said, and didn't care to elaborate on whether the characters or the viewers were the ones being blindsided. We're guessing it's both. He did add, however, that Illuminated is unlike any episode we've ever seen. Of course, we could end an in interview with television without asking about Steric, Styles, and Derek. If they're how, if they're somehow unfamiliar, the best frenemy BFF duo ever. Unfortunately, Hochi didn't have much to share in terms of whether there are any upcoming steric heavy scenes. They come sporadically, sporadically, and you know they're there, and they're, then they're gone. It's always something to look forward to. That sounds almost like kind of KG yes to us, so we'll take it from you taken out for here. And finally, we asked Holchin what show he could cross over with Team Wolf if he could and barely even thought about it. Game of Thrones in a second. He even hoped that werewolves would be logical like King's Land and to avoid the fringes. Frigid. Sorry, this is a really hard thing to read. Temperatures of the North, which is a sentiment where we totally down with right now. Stay warm, Midwest. Check out the extended trailer for tonight's episode. Perhaps keep an eye out for Lindsay's spoiler chat if you want a couple. Team World airs tonight uh, at 10 p.m. on MTV. I cannot wait to see Team Wolf. I'm obsessed with Team Wolf. 